Today I'd like to introduce you to a couple of remarkable young men who built for me a start 3D printer kit from iMaker and I'd like to tell you a little bit about what I think about start 3D printer and 3D printer kits in general. <music> So in this video, I'm talking about the Start $100 3D printer kit. And obviously, I don't have this printer with me because at the end of this interview, I let these young men take it home. But I do have some thoughts about this as a 3D printer and as a 3D printer kit. Now, personally, I've put together 3D printer kits before, and I'm kind of burnt out on the experience. I feel like you can only build so many 3D printers from a pile of parts before you just are done with it. And I'm kind of to that point myself. But I still feel that building a kit has value. I, I feel that it teaches you things that you don't learn any other way. Now this, as a 3D printer, feels a lot underpowered to me. I mean, for one, there's no heated build plate, which to me is kind of a big deal. but for another, I don't think the, the hot end gets hot enough, and it's it's very tough to upgrade. Very tough to upgrade. In fact, I found online where somebody has taken one of these 3D printers, and they had added a heated build plate to it. But in order to do it, they had to, first of all, change out the electronics, because the main board on it doesn't have any capability of managing a heat, uh, a heat board, and I think they also had to change out the power adapter for it. But... The smallest heated bed that they could find was too big for this printer, so they had to tear the whole frame down and rebuild the whole printer from the frame up. You might as well just start from scratch at that point, which is more or less what he did. He took this 3D printer, stripped it down for parts, added a few more parts, and used those parts to build a new 3D printer. However, that might be what you want. It's entirely possible that, see, there, there's two kinds of people who are into 3D printing, I think. There's the people who are into 3D printing because they want to 3D print something. They want to use it to make something. And then there's people who are into the 3D printers, who want to know the technology and want to build and fiddle and, and upgrade that technology as much as possible. And if you are in the latter camp, then $100 is a great place to start. It's, it's really not too much to pay to get starting, started on it. So as a start, the start is a great start. It's way too many starts for one sentence. Now, you can get this printer in other places. It's also called the Tron XY100, but I've never seen it for $100 from anybody but I maker. So if you want it at that price, you have to get it from them. And as I understand, it's the same kit as the Tron XY100, but somehow they've managed to make it only be $100. And, and I do not want to uh, downplay the, the absolutely remarkable feat of making that happen. A $100 3D printer is is nothing to sneeze out. It's it's a remarkable accomplishment. And iMakers, I don't know how they're doing it. And I certainly hope they're not doing it at a loss, but they've done it. It exists. And so that's remarkable. But again, if your plan is to, if you just want a cheap way to get into 3D printing, this might not be the place to start. But if you want a cheap place to get into 3D printers, this might be a perfect place to start. Now. One more thing that these young men have kind of shown me in this process, their first 3D printer is a XYZ Da Vinci Jr., which I've kind of poo-pooed in the past because it has chipped filament, which is to say you can't buy your filament from anybody but Da Vinci or XYZ printing. And when there is the option of buying 3D printers that can use filament that you buy from wherever, that seems a little bit less desirable. But the reason why Da Vinci is doing that is so that they can sell you a 3D printer at or below cost 
and then make up the profit on jacking up the price of filament. It's the same way that inkjet printers run. And again, in the past, I've kind of been like, about that. But seeing these young men's experience, I've kind of had to rethink that a little bit. And I thought, they've managed to get to where they're going, starting with this Da Vinci and working their way up now through a start 3D printer, a kit that they've built themselves. They, they started from not knowing what they were doing to being makers, and XYZ Printing's Da Vinci Jr. was part of that ju uh, journey for them. And so maybe it's possible that I was wrong in the past. Maybe there is some real merit to XYZ Printing's way of doing things because it lowers the bar enough that it can bring in everybody and get them started and who knows where they'll go with it so i apologize for anything bad that i might have said about xyz printing and their da vinci jr and their chipped filament because these guys are proof that it works okay that's enough chit chat and enough of my thoughts let's hear from these two young men so guys why don't you introduce yourselves to everybody i'm jonah and this is gail and you guys, I asked you guys to build the Start 3D Printer Kit for me. A $100 3D printer, so tell me a little bit about building this printer, guys. What was it like? It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Why do you say that? There were so many tiny screws, you can't keep track of them. Yeah, and there's a couple pieces that like were hard to fit in. They were kind of cheap, and like if you're like, Cheap and fragile. So. And it all went together pretty well, though. No problems during the build at all? Not really. Other than this piece. So what happened with that piece? I dropped it twice. And broke it? Twice. Yep. And fortunately, the guys at iMaker were really good to replace that for us, so thank you guys. They were also really good for getting us the power cable piece that we lost then we found it then we found it we thought that maybe it wasn't even in the package but it turns out it was our fault and we had misplaced it so thank you i maker again yeah so this 3d printer as as a 3d printer you know as a hundred dollar 3d printer how do you think it compares to other 3d printers sure. See right um, here. to the select minis Sure. It's about the same, but this one's kind of a little, kind of lower. So not as good, but you don't pay as much for it either. Yeah. No. It's, you know. You get what you pay for. I, I guess. Now, how long did it take you guys to build this? A uh, couple weeks, but if you compile it, it was as about a, maybe a day and a half. Yeah. 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 If you if you had had a whole day to work on it, you might have yeah. been able to crack yeah. most yeah. of it out. Did you learn anything putting this together? Yes. Yes. What, what, how would you sum up your learning uh, uh, experience on this? I learned kind of how to use some wires and stuff. Do you feel like you understand the other 3D printers better now that you've built this one? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Do you, ever, do you ever see something happen on the other 3D printers and you're like, hold on for a second. I put the motors together on this one. I know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. What's your plans for this printer now that you've got it all together? What what are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it home. And what? Just have another 3D printer at home? Uh, no. We're probably, probably... going to print a couple projects on it. Yeah. yeah. Some I plan on using this one to print smaller parts that I can. That, and print the bigger parts on my other 3D printer. Yeah, you have another 3D printer at home. What is it? It's a... Da Vinci Junior 1.0 wireless. By XYZ Printing. Yep. Yes. So compare the Da Vinci Junior to this 3D printer. Do that you, one is way better. Do you think that one's way better? Yes. yes. Because it's it's put together. Okay. And is it easier to use? A lot, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But do you wish that you had maybe started with this one first? and then gone to that one, or are you happy that you started with that one and then did this one second? Uh, I'm happy that we did the that one first and then this one second, because yeah. I kind of got to know a little bit about printers, so, and then it helped me put this one together. Yeah. Okay, guys, 
Well, thank you very much for putting this together. And yes, I am going to let you guys take this home. I'm also going to send you guys home with a roll of the yellow filament from my friends at Melt Ink. So thank you guys very much for that. All right. My partner now. You, uh, the one we no. have at home is yours? Actually, no. Because I like to do stuff on it. That's why. Brothers. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I want to thank these two boys for joining me and, and helping me build this 3D printer. And I enjoy working with them at the Makerspace. If you would like to hear more from them and what it's like to be at the Makerspace and have that experience, you can find a video on the Makerspace channel that will be going up in a couple of days. So I will be sure to link to that channel in the description. And as always, Thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon backers. And as always, safety first. I'll see you next time.